Hey, it's Rick here, and I've got a new case to show you for the iPhone 5 or 5S. This comes to us by S-Case, and I say new because uh, this company is relatively new. They were founded in 2012 by a group of Swiss product designers. So this case right here is uh, designed in Switzerland. That's where they came up with the design for this one. And it comes in both the red that you see right here as well as black. I'll link in the description of the video as to where you can pick it up. And it's going to run you about $34.95 or thereabout. Comes in the packing that you see right here. Uh, minimalistic packing, which is always nice. You don't want to have excess there. And the good thing about this case is it's very lightweight but also very protective. It's made out of a TPU material. Let's go ahead and talk about weight first. I'm gonna pull the scale into frame and we're gonna wait for it to zero out. Zero grams, putting this on the scale and we're talking about 32 grams. So it doesn't add a whole heck of a lot of weight to your iPhone 5 or 5S. I've got a screen shield on my iPhone 5S that comes in at about 0.12 millimeters. Here's what the case looks like on the inside. Designed in Switzerland, it says on the inside, if you can't catch that. And let's go ahead and pop it in. Buttons first. This is a high quality TPU material. And, you know, I'll test to that. I'll, I'll tell you, it feels really nice. It doesn't feel like a cheap material by any stretch. Now, yeah, this case is going to add some bulk to your iPhone 5S. But again, the weight, it's not so bad. You definitely get a lay on the table design with this one. Check that out. Even with the screen shield, and by the way, it's working just fine with that screen shield. You get a great amount of lay on the table design. So face down on a flat surface, your screen's not touching, and you know hopefully you wouldn't, but if you did drop it face down on a flat surface, your screen still isn't going to touch. So works out really, really well. Here's what the side looks like. You've got some branding along the side. Up along the top, you've got button coverage. I'll talk about responsiveness there in just a moment. Button coverage for your volume along the side. And there's your cutout for your mute switch, which is very easy to get to. These buttons are extremely responsive. So when I press them, I still have a nice tactile feel to them. They feel really good and no loss of response. So that works out really nicely. Down below, that's what it's going to look like. Everything lines up one for one. However, I am going to say because of the depth of this, you may not be able to use it with oversized headphone connectors or third party lightning connectors. So just keep that in mind. Along the back side, they've got a real nice design here. Of course, some S case branding right there. And again, available in red as well as in black. There's your camera cutout lined in black. There's no issue with whiteout or washout in your photos or your videos when the LED flash is firing. This is a great, great case. I mean, it's going to give you an immense amount of protection. It doesn't weigh a whole heck of a lot, and it's really comfortable to hold. If you don't mind adding a little bit of bulk to your phone, uh, this is definitely a nice way to go. It's going to get my five out of five. It is the S-Case Helvetica, and it's available now. If you guys have questions, comments, or feedback, please feel free to leave them down below. Better yet, hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers, and I'll catch you next time. Take care, everybody, and have fun.